Hey y'all and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is just um, kind of a project that we were working on here at the house. Um, this summer has been atrociously hot and our poor old air conditioner just was not able to keep up. So we ended up getting a window unit, but my husband is not one to take chances. And so you'll just be watching us put together a frame of sorts, a support system for that uh, window unit. So um, he was out in the, I call it the shack, but it's kind of, I guess, supposed to be a garage. Um, and I ran inside and grabbed the drills, the cordless drills, and then um, batteries for them and such so that he could put them together. He'd already cut out the wood uh, for those. And, um, anyhow, so it was so ridiculously hot that we ended up taking several breaks throughout the day. I had gotten overheated after doing the yard. Um, I had been mowing, but anyhow, um, mowing our yard is always kind of a challenge. It's so large and neither one of us is really used to having such a big yard. And, um, last we mowed the grass, actually, we used the two push mowers that we have to do the front yard and then he used the right on zero turn for the backyard um, which worked out really well actually and then we had a bunch of weed whacking to do but using the two mowers in the front yard made a huge difference but um, as you can see my husband is making this support to be indestructible because that's how he does everything not that i'm complaining it's actually it's a good thing it's a good mindset I suppose to have to build things to last kind of funny to me because everything that he makes always ends up weighing like a bazillion pounds so um, when he initially sets it up you can see it's a little too high and um, or he thinks it's a little too high because we're trying to figure out how to put it in the window and so I ran and grabbed a few things that I thought we might be able to use um, to level out the ground and it's easier for me to bend over than it is for him because his back has a lot of problems. So that's why I was moving the bricks and stuff. But anyhow, those were actually some of the brick that we got, the cement brick, to put the container on. And we didn't need all of them because, like I said, he overdoes everything. And so he bought, like, a lot of those um, brick rectangles, whatever. And so we had a bunch left over. So that's what we're using as the, the base for this um, frame that he's making for the window and you can see our this back patio porch not patio it's a porch it's a deck what am I talking about I don't know it's a something and it is so rotted out and so unstable to say the least that um anyway it needs to be redone but wood is atrociously expensive right now we just can't afford to do that and we really don't use the back steps very often i mean like obviously we do use them but we know where to step and where not to and so if you come down that um well it's the left hand side if you come out the door it's the right hand side if you're going up where the trash can is um it's actually not too bad but on the other side where roger is it's pretty sketch so anyhow I'm trying to get a better angle and my tripod was not having it um, but anyhow, so we do have plans to redo all of this area here and actually where he's standing is going to be part of, uh, where I hope to put the dog's enclosure at some point so that they're not in the front yard. So I can do all my cute fun stuff in the front yard. And I think they'd like to watch the pond probably too. Right now they're just kind of more or less obsessed with the neighbor's dog and the neighbors. Um, like I said, we ended up taking several breaks. I got some kitchen towels and I soaked them in water, cold water. And um, we just, we had to take a lot of breaks. It was ridiculously hot. And so what's kind of funny is that we'll sit here and we have our little drink, cool off for a bit. And I start telling him all of my plans of all the things I want to do. So here he's putting in the actual cross bars, beams, whatever, uh, to help hold it to the house and add extra structural support to the box that he made that's going to hold up the air conditioning unit. I didn't bother recording him actually installing the air conditioning unit because that was a challenge in and of itself. And um, But here you can see in just a second when it's all done and it's set up on 
its stand and it actually works really well. And then you can see that he actually ended up pushing the rest of that railing over because every time he bumped into it, it was just more wobbly. But anyway, so I just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick little video here. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye.